Hello, my name is Mohsen Nijfar. I and my co-authors Mrs. Bittencourt and Dr. Mikaniotis from Auburn University work on the paper titled A Two-Phase Machine Learning Approach for Predictive Maintenance of Low Voltage Industrial Motors. Low voltage motors are a very common part of many different manufacturing industries. This kind of motors uh, offer a balance of performance, reliability, motor control, and overall system cost. Uh, however, these m induction motors are very reliable, but they have their faults too, such as bearing defects, rotor broken bar, and misalignment. These problems can cause uh, mm, mm, problems for quality and also may can cause unexpected breakdowns, may cause injuries or even deaths for the workers. Therefore, in the literature, different condition monitoring and predictive maintenance approaches uh, are considered for analyzing and uh, uh, addressing this problem. Uh, in literature, they use uh, condition monitoring and predictive maintenance interchangeably. However, there are different uh, uh, mm, approaches. In condition monitoring, the focus is more on real-time condition. They use different sensors and uh, technologies to detect the problems of the uh, machine at this real-time. Uh, however, the focus, focus of the predictive maintenance is more on early detection or predicting a problem that is going to happen in the future. Yarmuluk and Trompe considered four different generations for condition monitoring. For the first generation that was from the 1980s and earlier time, the condition monitoring system just get alarms, give alarms after the failure already happened. For the next generation that was from the 19s to 2000s, more measurements are added to the machine to show uh, different features such as, such as power consumption, consumptions, uh, motor, motor speed, vibration, and temperature. And uh, during the next era that lasted uh, during the 2010s, uh, more, uh, mm, more technologies are used such as smart sensors, processing power, advanced communication system, also Internet of Things uh, to make the uh, system able to uh, detect potential failures much sooner than the previous generation. For the last generation that we are currently uh, in that generation, they uh, at, uh, they use the potential of uh, artificial intelligence and uh, machine learning approaches to uh, also provide some suggestion about possible uh, routes for the failures and also uh, the system will be able to recommend some future maintenance. Um, according to Besnard, Nielsen, and Bertling, uh, condition monitoring can reduce the life cycle cost for a wind turbine by approximately 27%. Also, Yu, Liu, and Meng reported a 32% decrease in maintenance cost of ball grid array solder joints using condition monitoring. Uh, also, there are other benefits for condition monitoring that are reported in the literature, including less machine failure cost, higher productivity and operation safety, less waste, on-time and exact maintenance operation, being able to predict the remaining useful life of machines and equipment. Uh, Mikaniotis developed and implemented a motor management condition monitoring system that can use both temperature and vibration data to find anomalies in low voltage motors. Uh, the system has several functionalities. Uh, for example, uh, it has ability to sending mobile RRs. It's able to log in the vibration and temperature data that we are using the uh, logged vibration data from this system in our work. It also have a GUI for remote access and checking a motor's condition. The result of the pilot testing for vibration and temperature data showed that the, the system is able to successfully uh, detect abnormal behavior in vibrational frequency and also temperature and um, trigger the alarm system. Kakir, Kuevenk, and Mistikoglu mm, used the machine learning models, some machine learning models to create a method to classify bearing damage. They use vibration, sound, rotational speed, and other different uh, features to monitor the conditions of the bearing. Uh, and they used uh, uh, support vector machine, random forest, k nearest neighbors, and decision tree as their different machine learning algorithms. Uh, and they achieved accuracies higher than 99% for all the 
algorithms. I think Caracos and Akin uh, created a new artificial immune-based SVM. They used some uh, uh, characteristics, characteristics of the human immune system to design the SVM kernel and also the penalty uh, parameters for that. Uh, they also they use this uh, new algorithm to find the broken rotor bars and uh, some faults in a stator short circuit and the results showed an average performance performance of 98.85 percent for uh, data collection we used accelerometer sensors to monitor two types of industrial motors the accelerometer gyroscope sensor GY521 collects the vibration data to monitor the vibrations in vibration of frequency. The system has two radio frequency communications modules, uh, XB's S2C, that track the vibration data on the motors. Uh, one module serves as an output device between the gyroscope accelerometer sensors. The other module serves an, as an input device on the computer command station that tracks the vibrational frequency data. The common station allows the central location for logging all the data of each of the motors. Uh, we collected three different data sets, class B1 and B2, that are related to motor class B, and the data are collected from two different places, from motor bearing surface and also from motor body. For class F, we collected data from motor bearing surface. Uh, each data set has 129 columns, 127 of them shows the vibrational values the last two columns uh, shows if the if the, that line row is related to a abnormal data or nor or normal data or also the last column shows the type of the problem that that rows of the data is representing uh, we also included a glance at the spark line for the class f data set you can see that in the second line and the sixth line we have unnormal data Our work is inspired by Kusiak and Anup work, a data mining approach to uh, monitoring wind turbines. Uh, our work has two phases. First phase is prediction of any kind of fault. At the second phase, we predict a specific kind of fault. In the second phase, we considered uh, uh, bearings where mass unbalance and also misalignment faults. We implemented support vector machine, back propagation neural network, and random forest in R. We use this package B10751 for SVM, neural net for and BBMIC SC for BPNN and random forest for random forest. For each uh, algorithm, we consider different parameters for parameter tuning. For support vector machines, uh, first we consider two different splits for test and trade. The first number shows the percentage for test and the second number shows the percentage for the train sets. We consider two different kernel, radial and linear. For radial kernel, we consider different cost and gammas. Also, we uh, detuning on this cost and gamma combinations. We also consider a co different cost for linear kernel. For, for back propagation neural networks, we consider different number of neurons and learning rate. After a while, we understood that 0.002 is the best learning rate, so we just we just tried different number of neurons with this fixed learning rate that is 0.002. For random forest, we uh, tried different number of trees and also MTRY, that is number of available variable for splitting at each tree's node. These are the result for the first phase uh, for support vector machine and class B at position 1 we had 100% as accuracy with these parameters for position 2 we had 93.75% accuracy with this list of parameters and also we had 100% accuracy for class F in two different uh, combination of parameters for back propagation neural network we achieved 92.94% accuracy for class B position 1 For class B position 2, we achieved 95.29% accuracy with this combination of parameters. And for class F, the highest accuracy we achieved was 98.75% with these parameters. For random forest, we achieved 91.76% accuracy. 
accuracy for class B position. The highest accuracy that we achieved for class B position 2 was 94.71% and for class F it was 96.25% with this combination of parameters. This slide summarizes the highest accuracies that we achieved for different data sets. For class B1, the highest accuracy achieved by, S by SVM. This is the same for class F. However, for class B2, backpropagation neural network achieved the best accuracy. These are the results for the second phase. As support vector machines has the best uh, performance for two out of three cases uh, for our data sets, we selected support vector machines for the second phase. Uh, for class B position 1, the highest accuracy that we achieved was 95.24% and for position 2, the accuracy was 90.48% and for class F, it was 96.67%. Uh, for future work, uh, we can uh, go to some directions such as Integrating the data mining component with the old system. Uh, in the old system, uh, after the sensing the vibration data, the vibration data can go through the data mining components that we introduced in this paper. And after the data mining component predicts a more find that the failure in the system, it can fire the alarming system. Uh, as I described, uh, in the second phase, we just use support vector machines. We can also try other machine learning algorithms such as logistic regression, like propagation, neural network, random forest, and decision tree in the second phase. Um, also, we can consider other kinds of faults that can happen for uh, the motor. Uh, one of the problems that we have in this work was lack of enough data to uh, train our machine learning model to uh, gain more uh, simulation data to uh, train our model. We have a plan to develop a digital twin of the system to simulate different kind of anomalies and collect simulated data that can be used as an input for the uh, data mining component that we uh, introduced in this paper. Uh, in this slide, uh, we introduce some of the some examples of the references that we use in this work. At the end, I wanted to once again thank you for your patience for paying attention to our work and I'll be glad to answer any question that you may have. Also after the presentation you can contact me using this email address to have any question or share any ideas with us. Thank you so much.